met you that very first night, you terrified me. <laughs> Your confidence, beauty and passion blew me away, but something told me that you and I were going to be together. I didn't know where, I didn't know how, but I knew this day was going to come. Now we stand here together, moments away from being officially husband and wife. Destiny, maybe. All I know is that nothing will be better than this day signalling us becoming one. With us becoming one, there are a few things I want you to hear, listen to and understand. I promise from this day to protect you, guide you, pick you up and fly high with you. I promise to let you fight until you can no more. I promise you your independence. I promise to be proud of you, cheer you on and be there whenever you need me. We've been through so much, the dark, confusing and make breaks. We break through always. We build, construct and we progress. This here moment and these vows mark our never ending journey together. Through this life and the unknown after. Heather, without you there would be no Jay. I am indebted to you and we keep moving forward. <laughs> I vow to love you, for you, how you are, in all that you are, as you. To be the best me I can be, because I know you are always trying to be <laughs> the best you. I vow to be your rock, as you are to me, to listen even when it's hard to. I vow to live life and appreciate something in every minute even on a bad day, when it's lacking spoons. To be funny, even though it's only me that's laughing. I vow to make time for us as my priority. To be proud of you and your achievements, no matter how big, small, real or digital. I cannot wait to watch this life we will create together from the beginning of our marriage to the end of our existence. You help me remember that bad times are just times that are bad. I am so proud of us and the fact that we made it here today. We are getting married. I love you. Jay and Heather are genuinely two of the most genuine and authentic people I think I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. And you won't find anyone who is more apologetic, more unapologetically themselves uh, than these two, and especially when, when they're together. Um, they just have a warmth as a, as a couple that you just want to gravitate towards to. Um, and that hasn't changed from day one to 1,000 of their relationship. Um, they wholly and completely uh, accept and choose each other. And personally, I don't think they could have chosen better in each other. We ran wild through every season Lit a fire to warm the world 
My beautiful boy Jay. There, there were exactly 7,001 days between the day that I was born and you were born. And I cannot remember a day that I didn't dream about being your mum. When I found out about you, you were my world and everything in it. But now you've become that person to Heather. And the love you share is something I always wished for you. You are the man I wished for her too. And I'm so proud of that. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness, good health and prosperity. I will be beside you if ever you need me. I love you. I love you all. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Ford. Mr. and Mrs. Ford. Now, 10 years ago, if you had come up to me and said that I would be stood here today and I'd be marrying this, I'd have said a couple of things. One thing would have been, who are you? Get out of my room. <laughs> and second of all, I would have said, absolutely not, because to bring the room down a bit, I'm really sorry, but I don't think I would have seen 10 years from then. And then in 2014, I met this bright spark and everything changed, you know? She gave me purpose. She gave me joy. And she's bit of a pain in the ass sometimes but you know that's just love isn't it you know you you annoy each other but at the end of the day you still come back to bed and you talk about your day and one of them talks a bit too much about their day but you listen and you love them and everything that they say you just kind of block them out because you just can't stop looking at them in the face because of how beautiful they are and now I get to call you my wife and that's still so surreal but it's just the best feeling ever.